The always bustling Hollywood Boulevard is looking even more chaotic this evening. Yeah, Oscar preparations are well underway as the countdown to Oscar Sunday hits just five days. <laughs> Entertainment guru George Pinocchio is there. He's camped out now in Hollywood to fill us in on the progress. Hey, George. Well, hello, good afternoon, and I'll tell you this, there is an ever-changing landscape here on the red carpet for the 90th annual Oscars, and the latest change is the actual red carpet itself, which has been rolled here, but not yet rolled out. It is scheduled to be rolled out tomorrow morning, and when you take a look at what's there right now, it looks a little barren, but actually, that red carpet will add much more color come tomorrow. And when it comes to the Planet of the Apes movies, you could say the real stars of those films are the apes and they're not real but the people who create them are and come Sunday we'll find out if the special effects wizards for war for the planet of the apes go home with Oscars I do not start this war war for the planet of the apes is nominated for best achievement in visual effects to say the film is packed with movie magic is probably an understatement <laughs> the movie was two hours and 20 minutes. Yeah. All but 15 shots had visual effects in them, so yeah. it's, it, uh, it's endless. The senior visual effects supervisor on Apes, Joe LaTerry, also worked on The Lord of the Rings, King Kong, and Avatar. He's already a four-time Oscar winner who loves what he does. And there's nothing about the apes that are real. They're completely digital creations, have been from the first film, the fur, the eyes, everything we create in the computer, and just try to give you the illusion that they're real, because we want you to watch the movie and be completely engrossed with the story and not have to worry about you know, suspension of disbelief. We, we want to do that for you. And it's not just the apes they're creating. They make all sorts of stuff look real. I do the practical effects, which is the fire, the explosions, the falling snow, or the snow on the ground, or the rain, and fire. What I'm seeing now is you don't see the difference between the practical and the visual effect. It's seamless. So with, with each new story, there's new things, new elements that we have to kind of make work. On this movie, one of them was snow, and that was the first time we'd had to get snow to like work in the fur and all, you know, each, we had millions of strands of fur on the bodies, and each strand of fur might have, you know, several dozen flakes of snow. In the visual effects world, technology is always improving. So when it comes to what these guys do, I know one thing for sure. You would ruin career day for every other parent. <laughs> we have. <laughs>